Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. A blessed evening to all of you and all those who are uh, joining us in worship through this live streaming in other parts of the, the world. I was browsing through my Facebook when uh, one post of a friend there is a uh, Entitled, 100 Ways to Say I Love You. I was curious. And uh, indeed, there are 100. And I copied them. No? I printed. Well, I, I, uh, I will not tell. I will not uh, tell you everything. But uh, some of the uh, interesting ones. One is. Come here, let's fix it. That's one way of saying I love you now. Another is, I'll walk you home. Another one is, take my jacket, it's cold outside. Or, here, drink this, you will feel better. Another one is, you can borrow mine. Another one is, I'll wait. Another, I'm sorry, I did not mean to. Another one is, I'll do it for you. Another way is, call me when you get home. Or another one is, it can wait until tomorrow. Then another one, this one is, Beautiful. I did the dishes. Sana sasabihin ni Mr. para sa Mrs. Siguro. Another one is, I'll meet you halfway. The capacity to enter into uh, uh, dialogue and uh, to Call me if you need anything. Another one is, you can tell me anything. Another way of saying I love you. Though. Another one is, I want you to be happy. Another one is, I believe in you. Another one is, take a deep breath. Be careful. And of course, the beautiful I love you. Hundred ways of saying I love you. Well, the essence of which maybe is always the uh, the for the benefit of one is thinking in this all these expressions. I think at the back of all this is the capacity to see and to wish and to do something good for the beloved. The essence of all this, maybe words, no, is the point of preference is not I, but for the benefit of the other. And I think that's the basic idea uh, concept of love. In uh, in God's language of saying "I love you," can be seen beautifully today with the words of the God, the uh, angel to Mary. His words of love to Mary, and also. For all humanity. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. I think with these words God expressed in the first place how creative His love is. That after a long, arduous history of humanity's unfaithfulness and sin, here 
He offers a new beginning, a new beginning for humanity that failed already at creation. And here He is offering a new beginning. And such beginning is nothing less but offered us fullness. It is not just as a peace, but He is offering it the fullness. If humanity is deprived of grace due to sin, God's creative and unfathomable love and mercy is offering a new beginning and promise of fullness to humanity. The mystery we celebrate today, the eighth day of uh, December, which we call the Immaculate Conception of Mary, meaning the, our doctrine, our belief is that Mary, on the moment of her conception in the womb of her mother, that she was without sin. And uh, this can be understood, its possibility through this greatness and creativity of God's love and the gift of His fullness. Some even Christian traditions would question this, how can a creature of God be sinless if everybody from creation since the the fall of our first parents we shared all everybody shared this sinfulness of humankind how can be how can it be that uh, a creature like mary be exempted of this the tradition of the church the reflection of many Christians, uh, theologians in the past, enabled us to understand and they proposed, for example, that uh, uh, these grace, no, this grace that was given to Mary was a special grace that God filling her with the fullness of grace that made her precisely without sin or to put it another way someone said God filled her Mary with the fullness of grace that there is no more space for sin and the consequences of sin in her life. Pag ang baso ay puno na, hindi mo na madagdagan pa. Parang ganun yung, yung kanilang paghahambing. This was one of the ideas of the early church fathers explaining how possible, how is it possible that Mary is without sin when God filled her with grace. No? It was full of grace. No? The term in Greek, which appears only once in the Bible, no? is significant. It says, Ke kareto meine, meaning full of grace, meaning applied only to Mary, meaning the, that God in His creative love made her really full of grace. If that is so, then no more space for sin. So in her, for Mary, from her conception, no, she enjoyed that grace, that fullness of grace. No. Mary declared full of grace during the annunciation of the birth of her son, the Messiah, Jesus Christ is a proof 
that she indeed is full of grace and that God made her a fitting and worthy abode of the Son of God. In other words, if God can create a world so wonderful and can make so many things, how can He not make and accept and fill Mary with His grace so that sin would not touch her? Mary's privilege of being sinless, full of grace, is also the image of the redeemed humanity that with the gift of salvation, of life, of grace, brought about by the word of redemption of uh, her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, full of grace is also part of the plan of God for all not only for Mary. This work of bringing humanity to that fullness of grace is already is realized and continues to be realized in the life of the followers of Christ, especially through the sacramental life of the Church, especially baptism and the Eucharist. In baptism, when the so-called original sin is removed from us, you know, filling us with the grace of being children of God, and this is engendered and strengthened as we participate in the life of the church, as we receive the other sacraments, especially the Eucharist. Therefore, this privilege of Mary is not, it does not stop there. It becomes an image and an inspiration also for all of us because we are also called and God has then destined us also to enjoy that fullness of grace. And He has begun already when He has called us as His children in baptism. So they offer such offer and gift of the fullness of grace becomes a reality if it is accepted like Mary who said her yes to God. Like Mary, we need also to say our yes to God and renew this daily. Our yes in baptism and in our life of worship should be renewed, reinforced in our yes to life, in our yes to our commitment as Christians. Yes, our yes when we say and uphold the Christian values of goodness, of truth, of charity, of service. These are our yes, forms of yes to God's call to that fullness of life. Mary's fullness of grace is indeed a sign of hope for humanity that God's love that is so unfathomable and created that she is the image of what we can be a redeemed humanity full of grace we ask our blessed mother to inspire us to put our trust in God in his created love and also that she may inspire us to see to say generously yes to God, to His call. Amen.